How do you do Jawad is here in this video we are going to learn how to create a special floor tiling in some designs we have some floors like this and creating them can be a little bit tricky in Revit also you can use textures but you don't have all of the patterns textures on the internet so sometimes you have to model them but what's the best way and in this video I'm going to show you how in this uh, CAD file, I have a CAD file which contains lots of patterns. Not all of them are applicable to the to this case, but uh, for example, for this one, I'm going to create this pattern in here. Yeah, as I said, you can do it with texture. Uh, the other way is to create different floors for each part, which is a headache. So we are going to use parts as an example for this one. To do that. If you have a, a, a pattern, it will be much easier. But if you don't have one, even I advise you to create one and then bring that pattern into your Revit because it will be much easier to pick it. And it will be much easier in the design part. Let me just control C this part and let's go and in a new file, let's just control V and place it anywhere you want and save it as an a, another pattern for yourself and if you want to get access to all of these files you can go to our patreon page too you can find the link in the description let's go to the revit file and this is the final product that we are going to achieve you can select any material for each part let's create let's bring the pattern in here because i have brought it earlier so i'm just going to use that pattern let me delete this part uh, let's go to the show original and let me delete this and when you are using parts there are lots of uh, advantages but the problem is that you only can see them uh, you only can see them in, when you have part visibility on show part so you have to be careful about this uh, about this disadvantage too but it will be much easier after you've brought your CAD file and you've scaled it to scale it properly then let's just create a floor in here sample floor in here let me align this one with this part let's just click on finish the tip is here that you have to be careful about the order of part creation the best practice is to make the bigger uh, areas first and then start to uh, um, create a smaller part, uh, parts so in here I just have to select the uh, floor in here and I have to create parts from it and when it's converted to parts then you have to click on divide part let's select the upper part and let's click on edit a sketch and in here I have to pick lines in here because it's a mirrored shape so if you would just pick a quarter of it can easily mirror it on the other places too so let's just select all of them and let's press dm for dry axis mirror and let's select this half and let's mirror it again for the uh, bottom side let's just click on finish and now let's just click on finish again and now you can see we have two parts so we have to continue this process for all of the parts i will do some of the other parts too so let's just click on edit division edit the sketch again and we have to do the same thing for this part so you can see the only trick is to be able to understand the partition process and to be able to keep the right order for this let's press tab in here dm for draw mirror access and let's mirror it for that side and now let's just click on finish and now we have this part alone and let's select this part again and do the exact thing for this part for this one i want to do the i want to do these uh, these big ones because it will be much easier so let's just click select one of them and in here i have to close them in a way so the best one i think will be this let's just tr let's do it manually like this okay that's right and now i can just select this and mirror it along the way again dm for mirroring in here if you can't 
uh, get the snap of the end, press SE, and you will override the snap of ready to the center. And let's just select this one and press tab and control to select this one too. And press DM again and let's mirror this from here. Now click on finish and finish. You will have this side too. So you have to uh, do this process for all of the parts to have each part, uh, each part separately. And then after you've done all of those parts, you can select each part and you can easily assign the right material to each part. And then when you render, you will have the right uh, pattern like this because it's a tedious, a little bit tedious. I didn't do for all of those parts, but you can see I've done uh, the exact pattern in here. I'm just created some materials and for material assignment, you have to select each part and then you can change the material in here and that was it i hope this one is helpful for you if it was please don't forget to like this video and share it to help us create more tutorials like this and if you want to get access to all of the exercise files and more tutorials you can go to our patreon page you can find the link in the description and if you want to learn enscape make sure to watch this video in here which is a full guide for enscape for beginners